let's add a new catalog called warehouses. If you take a look at this tab, you will see that the catalog already has everything we need. Code and description system attributes. So we can just close this form. Now we need to change the type of this document attribute from string to catalog graph warehouses. And this is what users will see. Here is a new link to the catalog we just created and we can fill it out with what we need. Main warehouse and uh, additional warehouse. Now let's see what happens to our goods receipt docs. As you can see the entry field has changed. Now you cannot just input anything you want. The platform checks if uh, this item exists in the warehouse's catalog and if it's not, it warns you. You can ask the platform to show you all the items in the catalog and then just select one. Or you can just start typing and the platform will try to find the correspondent item in the catalog. Now, let's see what happens if you try to delete a warehouse. In theory, user can delete whatever he wants by selecting this menu item. Now, let's see what happens to our docs. If we refresh the list, we will see that warehouse attribute of this document points to the warehouse which doesn't exist. This situation is called violation of referential integrity. So this is really not a very good idea to allow users to delete anything they want directly. Instead, in real world systems, access to this function just denied. All users can do is mark objects for deletion. Let's see how it works, but first let's fix our referential integrity. Additional and select it right here. Now all references point to existing object and user marks for deletion this element of warehouse's catalog. After this we can go over here and try to actually delete what we marked. Let's choose full deletion and platform says that there are objects that cannot be deleted and if we press next here we will see why. Because there is a doc using a reference to the catalog element we were trying to delete. So the platform just won't allow you to compromise referential integrity of your infobase.